Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to check whether your computer or laptop is supported with the TPM 2.0 and uh, and the needs of TPM 2.0 for the Windows 11 installation. In case if your uh, motherboard is supported with the TPM means, so how to enable that TPM 2.0 feature by going through the BIOS setting. Well, let me share all these things in this video. Well, firstly, let's talk about the TPM. So the TPM means Trusted Platform Module. So this Trusted Platform module is an hardware component that will be defaultly equipped in your motherboard so in case if you are using a motherboard which is only a one year or two year older older means so that motherboard will definitely will have a tpm module and you can also check whether your motherboard is supported with the tpm or not by doing a simple browser i'll tell that afterwards and recently microsoft has launched the windows 11 insider preview option for the all the windows 11 uh, insider program and i have also posted a video on uh, how to install windows 11 operating system in your uh, computers or laptop and uh, in case you are not yet watched remain series and i called you can watch that video afterwards so for installing the windows 11 operating system the tpm 2.0 is a basic requirement for the every computer or a laptop uh, so in case if you do if in case if your motherboard is not supported with the tpm module means uh, so then you can't able to install the windows 11 operating system so that is a basic thing so since a uh, microsoft uh, windows 11 is the actually a new uh, actually a new operating system which comes with the uh, more great design and also they improve the security measure better to protect your user credentials from the malware attackers so for this they have actually used this uh, trusted platform module so this is a hardware component it's uh, like a microchip it is uh, which is defaultly equipped in your motherboard itself and that actually stores all your user credential and it is all uh, fully encrypted in, and in case if you are hardly is flashed your bios means and even if you also not able to get into your os and it's 100 percent fully secured chip so microsoft is strongly recommending this tpm 2.0 uh, hardware component for every pc to install the windows 11 operating system well now let's see on how to check whether uh, your computer is supported with the tpm 2.0 and in case if your motherboard is already supported with the tpm 2.0 means and i'll tell you how to enable that through your bios setting uh, well now let's check how to do that. Uh well guys firstly to check uh, whether your computer is supported with the tpm 2.0 or not so just go to the run option and there so just type tpm.msc so once you have typed that just click then ok and after that you will get that uh, trusted platform module management on local computer so this is the new uh, window will we get open and here you will get that uh, so in case if you get a page like that means uh, the status is the tpm is ready to use and then uh, there is a uh, manufacturer name amd and the manufacturer version is uh, 3.5 and here is a specification version so that is a 2.0 so as you seen here so this tpm so the current tpm installed is the version 2.0 so this is a basic requirement to install the windows 11 operating system and in case while you are searching uh, for a tpm.msc and in case if you get uh, some of the other messages like that means it is not supported uh, like that means so that means the tpm 2.0 version is uh, uh, not uh, actually enabled so that is the main thing and if you are actually brought the motherboard recently like that means so the tpm module is not enabled by default so you have to enable this tpm 2.0 module by going to the bio setting so for example if you are actually go to that uh, tpm module uh, setting and in case if it shows that it's not supported like that means then then you uh, need to go to the bio setting now to enable the tpm in the bio setting just uh, restart the computer and go to the bio setting so just i'm uh, clicking on the restart and uh, press the f2 button to go to the BIOS setting so now this is the BIOS setting or uh, UEFI setting like that so in this setting now there is a most of the things so I am actually using the SS motherboard so in case uh, the the setting option will actually change it based on the each brand uh, motherboard if you are already using the SS motherboard uh, means so just go to the BIOS setting and then go to the option advanced and here is a trusted computing so this is the first option and there so here is a tpm 2.0 
so this is the first option tpm 2.0 device found that is an option and by default it is actually in the disabled condition so now i can't able to disable this tpm 2.0 feature since i have actually installed the windows 11 operating system because uh, after the installation that uh, after the enabling the tpm 2.0 is now actually uh, necessary to have that so i can't able to disable that in case if i roll back to the windows 10 operating system means so at that time i can able to disable the tpm 2.0 module so now i can't able to disable that but in case if you go to these settings there is a option uh, FTPM like that and then and then you will get the uh, option like this uh, drop down menu so then just uh, click on the enable button and that's it uh, and after that uh, just go to the EZ mode and click on the save and exit and just to make a uh, ok after the, your changes after restarting now your uh, TPM 2.0 has been enabled by default and after that if you check the whether TPM 2.0 works or not by go to the TPM.MSC option and there you can able to find the TPM 2.0 specification and then uh, you will get to know that uh, the TPM 2.0 is actually supported to your computer so this is the one of the way to how to check and how to enable the TPM 2.0 in your computer uh, and after that you can uh, easily install the Windows 11 operating system for how to install the Windows 11 operating system officially I have already posted a video so I given the link in the description and also you can view that in the iCard also so let's check that too and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys